Samsung is getting ready to bring something completely new to the foldable phone market. And it could be one of the most exciting devices we've seen so far. The phone is called the Galaxy Z Treefold, and it's expected to be Samsung's very first smartphone with a display that folds in three parts instead of two. According to reports, the launch might happen sooner than people thought, with the official reveal expected in October 2025 and sales beginning in November. That means we could be only weeks away from seeing Samsung's boldest foldable phone yet. But there's an interesting detail about this launch. Samsung isn't planning to make millions of units right away. Instead, reports suggest that only about 50 thousand units of the Galaxy Z Treefold will be produced at the start. For a company as big as Samsung, that number is very small. So why would Samsung limit the supply of a phone that has generated so much excitement? The answer comes down to two main reasons, and both give us a good idea of Samsung's strategy. The first reason is that this is a completely new type of phone. A tri-folding design has never been released on this scale before by any major brand. Samsung wants to see how customers react to it. Will people view it as the next big step in mobile technology, or will they see it as just another expensive experiment? By making only 50,000 units, Samsung lowers its risk. If the phone doesn't sell well, the company won't be left with a huge stock of unsold devices. It also makes it easier for Samsung to track customer feedback. If people notice hardware problems, software issues, or durability concerns, the smaller launch allows Samsung to adjust and fix things before mass production. In other words, it's a smart and careful approach for a product that's breaking new ground. The second reason is linked to another foldable phone Samsung, released earlier this year, the Galaxy Z Fold 7. That phone came out in July and has been doing extremely well, even breaking sales records. If Samsung were to make the phone widely available right now, it could take attention away from the Fold 7. People who might have bought the Fold 7 could instead wait for or choose the Trifold. Samsung doesn't want that to happen. By keeping the Trifold limited in supply, Samsung can showcase its innovation while still keeping Fold 7 sales strong. It's a way of balancing the success of their proven device with the excitement of their experimental one. So what can we expect from the Galaxy Z Trifold itself? Based on leaks, the phone will have three connected panels joined by two hinges. Unlike Huawei's Mate XT Ultimate, which folds both inward and outward, Samsung's Trifold will fold inward on both sides. This design helps protect the main display when the phone is closed, shielding it from scratches, dust, and everyday damage. It's a design choice that makes sense for durability and everyday use. When fully unfolded, the Trifold is said to have a 9.96-inch main screen. That's almost the size of a small tablet, making it great for watching movies, gaming, or multitasking with several apps at once. On the outside, there will be a 6.49-inch cover screen. This lets users quickly check notifications, answer calls, or use apps without having to open the whole device. Together, these two displays give users flexibility. They can use it like a regular phone or open it up for a much larger workspace. The Trifold is also expected to include features like wireless charging and reverse wireless charging, which lets you charge accessories such as earbuds or smartwatches. NFC support will also be included, so users can make contactless payments easily. One of the biggest highlights will be multitasking. Thanks to its tray, fold layout, users will be able to run multiple apps at the same time across different sections of the screen. This is something current foldable phones can't do as effectively, and it could be a big selling point for power users. Of course, there's still a lot we don't know. Samsung has not yet revealed details about the processor, the cameras, or the size of the battery. These are important factors that will likely be saved for the official announcement. Still, the leaks already suggest that this will be one of the most ambitious phones Samsung has ever made. In short, the Galaxy Z Trefold could mark a major step forward for Samsung. It aims to combine the portability of a smartphone with the productivity of a tablet, offering users the best of both worlds. If Samsung succeeds, the Trefold could set a new standard for foldable devices and show just how far this technology can go. To sum up, the Galaxy Z Trefold expected to launch in October 2025, with sales starting in November. Only 50,000 units will be made at first, as Samsung tests the market and avoids cutting into Galaxy Z Fold 7 sales. With its nearly 10-inch folding screen, 6.49-inch cover display, wireless charging, reverse wireless charging NFC, and advanced multitasking, the Trifold is already building a lot of hype. Whether it turns out to be a big success, or just a limited experiment, one thing is certain Samsung is once again proving that it's leading the way in foldable phone innovation.